We are a sum total of the choices that we make. And every week here on Green Living, we present you with the alternatives that help you make a choice that's better for the environment and better for you. Check, check this out. That looks good. Look at the color on that. Mm. We've covered just about every earth-friendly and health and wellness story out there. And all our efforts will be for naught if we haven't encouraged you, our audience, to take action. Living green is a choice and it's a decision that we can make right here, right now, in our very own homes. Today on the show, we'll show you three easy choices that you can make to start living green right now. First, choose to be energy efficient. Oftentimes, we think of electricity as an infinite resource, but the truth of the matter is, most of the electricity generated comes from finite and non-renewable resources like coal. So, here are a few tips on how you can save electricity. If you haven't switched to energy-saving lighting yet, do it now. LED light bulbs use up to 1 30th of the energy and last up to 10 times longer than regular incandescent bulbs. Turn off all lights when you leave the room and make sure your light fixtures are clean to maximize their efficiency. Plug your electronics into a power bar that you can turn off after use. Otherwise, they can use up to 60% of power even on standby. Don't leave your phone chargers plugged in if you're not using them. When you can, Use electric fans instead of air conditioning to keep your house cool. Coming up, we've got more tips on how you can be living green right now. But before that, let's meet someone who's made green his business with a line of products like Bamboo Bikes. I'm Paolo Abrera, and this is Green Living. I'm Boy Shoho. I am part of Bamboo Technologies and we make bamboo products. The product range I'm in mean, right now is just bicycles, but eventually we will go into anything bamboo. Isa lang mundo natin eh. It's time we care. It's time we care and do something about it. Show. Now, earlier we talked about the choices that you can be making to start living green right now. The first was to save electricity. Number two would be to choose to conserve water. Like electricity, water is a precious resource. We actually use up fresh water faster than the earth can replenish it. So, here are a few tips on how you can reduce the amount of water that you use. When you turn on the tap, make sure the water pressure is at the lowest possible level. Avoid fully opening it and shut off properly after use. When brushing your teeth, use a glass of water for rinsing instead of turning on the tap. Take shorter showers and turn off the tap while soaping. Reuse water whenever possible. Water you use in the kitchen, to boil eggs for example, can be used to water your house plants. Make sure you allow the water to cool off first, of course. Fix leaky faucets and toilets. You can save gallons of water every day. Check your water bill and your water meter to see how much water you're saving and challenge yourself to save more water every day. Coming up, our third live green alternative. But before that, let's meet the father of Philippine glass sculpture. Not only does his work reflect his love for nature, but the material he chooses is 100% recyclable. Glass. Not only can this material absorb and reflect light, but it also can accentuate the beauty of light. The uniqueness of glass is what inspired an architect turned sculptor to use it as an art medium. My name is Ramon Orlina. I'm a sculptor, specifically a glass sculptor. And actually, I finished architecture from the University of Santo Tomas until I went into arts and I uh, chose this, this uh, medium 
unique in a way that I am the only one who's working on glass in maybe even in this region and what is maybe unique is I developed the technique of doing the sculptures. I had no master, I had nobody who taught me. I get chunks of glass and this chunks of glass I do the cutting, the grinding, smoothing and polishing which I learned it by myself through trial and error. Why glass? If I think of me as an artist, light is very important with the sculpture. But in the case of glass, light can go into my sculpture. I can see the other side of the sculpture. So I can see the back. There are cases, more cases, that I can see what is on the left and the right side of the sculpture, which cannot be offered or cannot be seen in other sculpture which is not glass. Arlena's sculptures are not just admired for their form and beauty. Glass is a recyclable material. That's why Arlena's artworks are also good for the environment. It's eco-friendly because uh, one thing is a recycle. I'm doing a recycled glass. Actually, it's a throwaway glass, you know. Before, they don't even know what to do with it. It become a waste, you know. Now, I was able to develop something. So I can be proud to say that, you know, uh, I did something that is pro-nature. I don't cut trees, I don't go quarry marble or granite, you know, and I'm doing something which is actually man-made and recycled, which actually I am a, a person who loves nature. Orlina's love for nature began with an extraordinary encounter when he was a kid. He translated his love for nature into his art pieces. I'm a nature lover. No? I like to see the mountains, the clouds. When I was young, and my father bought me a, a air gun. No? And in our neighbor, there were two birds who were there. Bang! No? Fell. One fell to the gutter. So this one is still there. Did not fly, you know. So I said, okay, you're next, you know. Bang, I hit it. It did not hit him, you know. He stayed there. You know? so I said, this is your time. <laughs> Bang, he died. From that time on, he never touched any, any living objects anymore, or living things. I felt bad, you know. <laughs> How does it translate into my art? If you notice, some of my uh, subjects uh, are birds, man and a woman, uh, mother and child, and many abstract. Actually, nature is abstract. The clouds, the formation of the clouds, the volcano or whatever are all abstracted. Most of my works are abstraction, you know, because I want to put in the light. So that gives another dimension to the glass instead of just being see-through. Uh, my inspiration here is the rice terraces. As you can see, I mean, rice terraces. And as I told you before, my hilika was on the birds, nature. This one is also another bird, which is Miss Meenos Kihorus. It's the bird, the hawk. No? See? The hawk. Because we just came from Egypt. You know? This one is a bird. Actually, it's two birds. You know? One here, another here. Ito naman, inspired ako ng, let's say, yung ginawa kong parang uh, during that time, we had an exhibition, sabi niya, something about the Pasig River. Sabi ko, sige, gawa ko ng mga parang, parang water lily. Meron gumagalaw, so, yun lang. <laughs> it's just like a flower, see? nature, part of the tree. So it's nature, you know. This one can be a bird, can be something, can be an owl, no? Aside from expressing his love for nature in his artworks, Ramon Orlina also takes an active role in eco-awareness. We belong to the uh, group named Ramon. Uh, we plant trees. Me and Odette Alcantara and three Ramons were able to conceptualize the Ramon trees. 
And I think right now we have we have maybe uh, planted more than 300,000 trees all over the Philippines. You know? I was also a member of the COCAP. It's a concerned citizens against pollution. We lobby for the Congress to not to continue with the incinerator because these are uh, against our uh, our Mother Earth. Yeah, Mother Earth. I'm a member also of a Mother Earth with Odette Alcantara. We talk about what is happening to our lake, what is happening to the feces that uh, dies, you know. This was even before those, those feces died, you know, those maraming namamatay na, na fish. That was even before that, you know. For Orlina, it's important for his art and his message to reach as many people as possible. I like it or I love it when people appreciate what I do. Appreciate that, you know, I did something which is different. Something that, uh, that attracts them. Something that maybe they touch it, you know. I like people to touch my work, you know. Because it's another way of conveying or let's say, just like, you know, touching is another sense. Maybe what I want is to people to see what I do. You know, but I can maybe expose it only during my exhibitions. Uh, now, I'm building my own museum. And I'm be opening it in the later part of April. It's in Tagaytay. It's very near uh, New Bali. Actually, it's at the. It's very easy to find. It's, so for me, it's it's uh, it's a nice place because we put art to the people, not only uh, horseback riding or Ferris wheel. No, we put some culture. These are the things that people need, you know, something deeper than just buying or eating, you know. Light brings out the beauty of his works, but it's his unique skill and philosophy which makes him truly shine. I had originality. I was able to go on my own. Uh, there was... Uh, nobody to teach me go here or left or right so I was able to make my own goal and being an architect helped a lot in, uh, in the development of my art because architecture is science and art and if you're dealing with materials you know you need actually the science right? I want to be remembered that you know you know I developed this on my own and I was compared to the masters of Europe and America. To live green right now, we've asked you to choose to one, save electricity, and two, to conserve water. Now the third thing we'd like to challenge you to do is to eat more fruits and vegetables. Nutritionists recommend that half the food on your plate be made up of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals, and they're good for your health. Plus, they're low in calories, and they reduce the risk of certain diseases like cancer. A quick and easy way to add some fruits and vegetables into your diet is to make a smoothie. You'll need one banana, one mango, a handful of greens like spinach, and one-third cup of plain yogurt. Using a banana. Adding a bit of mango. About a third of a cup of the yogurt. The all important greens. To recap, there are three things you can be doing right now to live a more sustainable and healthier lifestyle. One, save electricity, two, conserve water, and three, eat more fruits and vegetables. Well, that's all I have for you for today and for this season. For more tips and behind-the-scenes notes, you can log on to www.greenliving-tv.com or follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page. I'll see you guys next time right here in Green Living. That's oh, right. To start living green now. Uh, right now. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, electricity is not an endless resource, <laughs> but green right now, that uh, healthier lifestyle.
right now. <laughs> you have to be, you have to be quiet. This is my home. I promise. It's just. <laughs> 